The Darling Gunner can be one of the strongest and most overpowered towers of the game if you know how to use it. So here's some tips on how to optimize the Darling Gunner. Obviously, you want to be able to use the Darling Gunner on a long, straight, narrow path. That way, you're going to be able to hit as many balloons as possible. The top path going up to Ray of Doom focuses mainly on being able to do as much damage as possible to smaller class balloons, such as clusters, rainbows, and others. However, unfortunately, the Ray of Doom isn't as powerful against bigger class balloons like the BAD. That's where the middle path MAD comes into play. The MAD shoots slow moving rockets that deal massive damage to Moab class balloons. However, unlike the Ray of Doom, it struggles severely in dealing with bigger clusters of balloons. Pair these two towers together and you've got a force to be reckoned with. The balloon exclusion zone is the jack of all trades, allowing you to do pretty much anything you need, but it's not going to excel at any one thing. Its ability to be target independent and fight other balloons takes the worry out of it for you though. 